Hey guys, welcome back to Prim Pure Life. So today <laughs> I look a little crazy and that's because I'm going to do a get ready with me video. I haven't done one of these in forever on my channel, but I thought it would be kind of fun um, to do a little just kind of mommy face um, and show you my everyday kind of makeup routine because um, maybe I don't know some of these products would be helpful for you if you don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning this is a look that I do pretty much every day that I'm wearing makeup if I don't have a lot of time to play I absolutely love playing with makeup and if I have the time I will take the time um, but on a regular day I don't really get to just sit down and do my makeup for fun um Liam has a doctor's appointment today he has his nine month checkup so um, I need to look presentable <laughs> and not so tired he's been teething so I am like not getting a ton of sleep and you guys can probably tell I have some dark circles going on um, but he's napping right now so if my voice is kind of my voice is quiet as it is but that's kind of why I'm that makes sense um, so I've already prepped my face I washed my face and then I applied my moisturizer and my serum um, and the serum that I use is the Mary Kay time wise um, day solution and this has SPF 35 in it and then after that I applied my moisturizer which is the time wise age fighting moisturizer and this is the pink one so this one's for dry skin I love this you guys I haven't mentioned it yet at least I don't think on my channel um but if you are looking for a good skincare line that is easy to use and really works um I definitely recommend the Mary Kay Time Wise Miracle Set it's amazing um it really does work. It makes your skin feel bright um, and just healthy. I don't break out as much and um, I have dry skin and the dry skin one you guys, it really works. Like it gets rid of all your dead icky stuff like dry skin on your face. Um, it is an investment. I think I paid, um, well I, I, became a Mary Kay consultant. I haven't actually sold anything yet. Um, I kind of just did it for the discount for myself, to be honest. Um, I was thinking about doing it and then I just, I didn't really do anything with it. Um, I just don't have the time right now, but eventually maybe I will. Um, but right now it's just more because I like the products and well, the skincare especially. Um, but I think that the set is like $92. Um, so it is an investment, but guys, I've been using this same tube since September. Um, yeah, last September. So this has lasted me forever, and I pretty much use it every single day because such a small amount of it goes a long way. For everybody, it will last different. I've heard some ladies say it lasts them about six months. Uh, I'm probably going to get almost a year out of mine because there's still a lot of product left in here. Um, so anyway, that's just a little spiel. I just thought I'd let you guys know. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with my base and the base that I like to use is this Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This also has an SPF in it and it's really moisturizing. My skin's really dry, you guys. So I just rub this on like I would a moisturizer. And I like this because what it does is it just evens out my skin. Um, it's not a full coverage product by any means. But on an everyday basis, I'm not looking for that. You know, I'm just looking to even out my complexion and to, um, yeah, just make things look less tired. And I get a lot of redness in my cheeks. And this does a good job of just kind of toning that down. I still look natural. It doesn't look cakey or weird. Um, and my lighting is kind of blue. I'm using natural light, so I don't know. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. But this isn't a tutorial. We're just, we're just getting ready together. So grab your makeup, sit down, grab your coffee. Let's just chat while I get ready. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not trying to tell you how to put your makeup on. Um... 
I just tell you what works for me. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is put some concealer on under my eyes. And I'm almost done this one. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. And I am in shade Light Pale. Oh, and if you were curious, with the Maybelline one, I think this comes in like three or four shades. And I'm in Light Medium. So, I just, you know, dot it on under my eyes like this. You can like make a fun tribal look on your face. <laughs> Put some on my chin. And hopefully this looks okay because I'm using <laughs> the screen as my mirror. I probably should pull out a mirror. I used my little powder mirror here. So how are you guys doing? What's new? How's it going? Anything exciting in your lives? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Um, if you see me, yeah, I'm just going to look in here to make sure it's actually blended. And this is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I love using this to blend my concealer. Um, and I blend it all over my eyelids. Um, with us, there hasn't been too much new and exciting. Um, my husband's family is coming in to visit next weekend. Um, so that'll be really fun. They don't get to see Liam that often, so I am excited for him to see his... Oma and Opa and his Aunt Sarah. His, my husband has two sisters um, and uh, his other sister Rachel can't make it but um, I know she would if she could. Um, but yeah so he doesn't get to see, Liam doesn't get to see my husband's family too often so when they get to come down it's really really nice. We're hoping to go up this summer to see them there. So that just kind of makes me look a little less tired. I'm not trying to hide too much, but it works, you know. Um, and then to set my concealer, I'm going to use this. This is the uh, Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. Um, they don't make it in the Fergie line anymore, but I believe you can get this in the Wet n Wild line. As far as I know, Fergie line no longer exists. I don't know why, but they decided to get rid of it. Um, I use this to set my under eyes and like around my nose, anywhere that I would get a lot of creasing. And I love this. I like this better than the e.l.f. under eye setting powder, and I like that too. Um, but I switched to this originally because um, the, e.l.f. Ha the e.l.f. powder had glitter in it, and I felt like it was starting to show up on my face. Well, recently somebody mentioned that they got rid of the glitter, which is awesome because I don't want glitter like near my fine lines. It's just going to draw attention to it. So that's awesome, Elf, that you got rid of the glitter. <laughs> um, then I'm going to use this powder. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Wear Powder. I don't know what shade this is in because it doesn't say, but I got this last year at... Um, Dollar Tree and I just use this over the rest of my face and I love this powder when I'm done this I'm gonna look and see if they still have it in stores because um yeah I love it it's kind of got a little bit of a satin finish to it so for my dry skin it just I don't know it doesn't look matte but it gives me that oil control that I need like in my t-zone but then over my cheeks where I'm dry, it just gives me that luminosity that I'm looking for without looking oily, if that makes sense. Because some things that say that they're like, um, a luminous, they have glitter or they're like oily looking or wet looking on your skin and that's not what I'm going for. Okay, so because I'm pale as all get out, I'm going to add some bronzer and I'm going to use this... NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and I don't really contour but um, what I do is I like to just kind of like put this on the tops of my cheeks like this and blend it up into my hairline and um, it just adds some like warmth to my face and this is really quick 
you know, I, and then I kind of like blend it down my neck. I just give myself a little suntan <laughs> with this stuff. And I like this okay. Um, I need a warm bronzer because I am warm undertoned and this is definitely warm. Um, cool bronzers make me look really um, ashy and like sickly. And so I need a warm bronzer, but I have trouble because I'm fair. I have trouble finding a warm bronzer that doesn't look orange on me. Um, cause I don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa. Nobody wants to look like an Oompa Loompa. Those guys are scary. Oh my word. My husband makes fun of me, but I, when I was a little girl, um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I loved that movie. Okay. And I loved it, but I was terrified of the Oompa Loompas. Until this day, I hate that song. You know, that oompa, oompa, oh, I hate it. I think those guys are so creepy looking. The white eyebrows, the green hair. No way. That's a really whacked out movie if you think about it. Do you know what I mean? Like the part where they go through the tunnel. Um, you know what I mean? Like they're on that little boat and they go through the tunnel. And then it's like that creepy like part where there's like a centipede who puts that in a children's movie whoa too scary for me okay so hopefully that's blended enough but you can see it just kind of makes me look a little oh i just blushed my eye um it just makes me look a little less dead now there's a lot of shadows in here and it's kind of making me look patchy but in my mirror it looks okay so Hopefully we're good. Um, next, I'm going to take this little brush. Um, this is the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. And in case you were wondering, I just use the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And I use this for my powder and my bronzer. And then I'm also going to take this Mineral Powder Brush um, by e.l.f. I love their Studio Line brushes. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this bronzer. And I just go down the sides of my nose like that and under my lip like this. And I don't know, just I like the way it looks, I guess. I feel like it kind of slims my nose a little and just, I don't know, whatever. It makes me feel good to do it. And the blush I'm going to use is this Project Runway Limited Edition Blush. I'm in love with this, you guys. This is probably going to be in my favorites this month. It is going to be in my favorites. This is in Sultry Raven's Blush. It's number 725. If you can find this, grab it. If you have fair skin like me, um, this blush just, like, it's really natural looking. It's smooth, and it doesn't look like much in the pan. It kind of just looks like a glittery, um light pink and when I put this on my cheeks it just makes me look healthy I love it and it doesn't look like I'm wearing powder like on my cheeks like it just looks like I'm naturally flushed I guess is what I'm going for and on a daily basis that's that's what I want you guys I don't look like a hip mom you know like I tried. <laughs> I One of my goals um, for this year, um, just make sure I'm blended, you guys, <laughs> uh, was to make sure that I'm investing in myself and putting makeup on. Not because I feel like women have to wear makeup or you have to wear makeup in order to look pretty, but I can get in these ruts and I don't know if any of you other ladies know what I'm talking about but um because I stay home with my son I get in these ruts where I will just not do anything to myself like I get up I get him dressed um you know I get him breakfast and I start my cleaning routine for the day so like I'm doing chores and getting stuff done and then before I know it, it's time for my husband to come home and I haven't showered. I'm still in my pajamas. My hair is up in like a ponytail like this. And I probably stink because I haven't showered. And I feel bad because 
not that my husband cares like he comes home and he's like oh hey beautiful you know he doesn't ever say like ew why don't you shower you're gross but um <laughs> you know I um I just feel bad because I feel like he works really hard so that I can be home and it's a privilege you guys it is a privilege and a blessing to be able to stay home because not everybody can and I don't get to stay home because I have lots of money and my husband makes tons of money. It's a choice that we've made to live a more simple lifestyle, um, you know, with less. We live with less so I can be home with Liam. Um, it's not like, oh, we have tons of money and I get to just like lie around and eat bonbons all day and go shopping when I want and you know run around with friends no like that's not how it is oh and I'm using highlighter by the way in case you were curious this is Mary Luminizer it's a little sample that I got in my ipsy bag and what I do is I just put this all over my lids like this this is what I do on a day when I am just trying to get out the door. I highlight my face and then I just whack this on like the high points of my face. Can you guys see that? I'll check in my mirror. But anyway, what I'm saying is that I want to look good for him when he gets home. I want to, you know, show him that even though we've been married, um, you know, almost five years, no, four years four years I want to say it's four years oh my gosh guys I can't even remember how long we've been married um and I know that's not that long but uh even though we've been married you know that long that he's still worth me looking good for you know because when you're dating like you get all dressed up for your man and you um you want to look good and you're trying to impress them you know and look pretty for them and then I feel like sometimes we can get in these ruts after we're married where we just don't care and it's because life gets in the way but i don't know he's just i want to show him he's worth it um the i use some of the blush just in the crease of my eye that's what i do just to kind of add some color to my face okay so that's my face pretty much done i'm just gonna add some mascara and eyeliner and a little bit of brow gel so, um, I'm going to take this Milani eyeliner, easy liner. It's the brown one. I got this at Dollar Tree. Love this stuff. Love this color. I think Liam just woke up. Perfect timing. So, I just, when I do my eyeliner, um, this is a tip that I learned. I just draw from the outer corner into about here. And then I smudge it um, a little bit with my ring finger. And what that does is it kind of like draws your eye upward. And I think I've mentioned this before in one of my other get ready with me's. But um, I just, I don't like the look of liner across my whole lid. Do you see how that kind of just like beefed up my lashes on the outer edge? And then I do the same thing on the bottom part. I just kind of like smudge it in my lashes down here. I can hear him. He's going When he wakes up, he wakes up like I do. He wakes up like <laughs> But like it's only for like the first minute or two and then he's happy and that's exactly how I am like when I wake up if you wake me up I'm a bear for like the first minute and then I like once I'm awake I'm like happy and smiling so I'm just adding some mascara this is just a sample size of a Stila mascara that um I got in a one of the palettes I got for Christmas from my sister it was the whole lot of love set I think and the brush, can you guys see that? It reminds me of the one on the Better Than Sex Mascara um, by Too Faced. I've never had that in full size, but um, a couple years ago, my grandma got me a palette from them. If you follow me on Instagram, 
I post palette of the week. I forgot last week because uh, my husband was sick and Liam was sick and we were just so busy that I wasn't able to do it, but I'm hopefully going to do it this week. Um, I didn't use my palette today to get ready because I knew I didn't have a lot of time and I just wanted to show you what I do if I'm going quick and that's I just whack whatever highlighter I'm using on my lids. I don't even really mess with eyeshadow um, just because I'm in a rush and I'm very anal about blending um, my eyeshadow. I'll sit there and blend and blend forever. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, my grandma had got me a palette and I featured it in a palette of the week on my Instagram. That's what I was trying to say. And um, she, yeah, she got me the Too Faced Christmas set and it came with like a mini size of the Better Than Sex. And I loved that mascara, you guys. Um, hate the name. So I did my mascara. Now I'm going to whack on just a little bit of brow gel. I don't fill my brows in um, on a daily basis because I have yet to find a brow product that I actually really like. Um, that's easy. I kind of want to invest. I'm thinking about investing in um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. My husband gives me a weekly allowance <laughs> um, and I can do with it as I please. That's like my fun money. And um, so I'm thinking about saving up for that. It's kind of expensive. I think it's like $20, which to some people might not be expensive, but to me it is. So for one makeup item, that's kind of pricey. But Sometimes those things are worth it. It's worth investing in one really good thing rather than having a ton of really cheap things that don't work, you know? So I'm thinking about that. My mom has it and really likes it. Um, so you guys have to let me know if you've tried it and you like it, let me know. Or if there's another brow product that you really like. I want a pencil. I've used powder for most of my life to fill my brows in and I like it, but for some reason it just... I don't know why it seems like a hassle to me to have to have the brush and the powder and to go, I don't know. It's not really, but the pencil just seems easier. Um, but anyway, the last thing that I do for my face is I'm going to go ahead and pop on some of this. So this is just one of the CoverGirl Liplicious's and this is in the shade 700 Whipped Berry. And I love this because it's a pink, like a sheer pink, and it just adds the perfect tint glossy tint to my lips it like adds some life without being messy or too much because I just want to look natural and that's there you go that's what it looks like it just you see what I mean it's just it's sheer but it gives just the slightest tint of pink which I like and because it's hot pink it's brightening to your face so that's my finished look, you guys. That's my really easy, everyday mommy look. Um, just a little bit of tinted moisturizer, a little bronzer, a little blush, a little highlighter. Um, if I'm even more in a rush, I will skip... Um, yeah, I will skip the bronzer and I'll just whack on a little bit of blush. Um... And I also, also skipped the concealer. It kind of depends on what I'm doing. I had a little bit of time because he was napping. Um, if I have more time, then I'll like take the time and actually try to contour and play around and fill my eyebrows in and stuff. But not today. We're just going to be running around. We might go to Target after his appointment um, and walk around and look around a little bit. I'm helping my friend tonight, you guys. I'm so excited. She's getting married in June. And um, she... I'm helping her with her makeup, so we might go to Sephora tonight and look at some makeup, maybe Target, not sure where, but um, I'm helping her pick out her wedding makeup and then just kind of helping her um, with a look, coming up with a look, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her to get married and just to see her wedding. I love her. She's like the sweetest girl ever, and we've been friends since second grade, you guys. <laughs> second grade um and it was one of those things where we started out as enemies like not enemies but like we didn't get along and then um we just kind of connected one day in gym class because we were both sick in gym class neither of us were very athletic and um so we were sitting on the like the stage in the gym at our school and we just started like talking and since then we've been just really good friends so um yeah anyway 
that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was not a tutorial. Please do not think I am telling you how to put your makeup on. This is just what works for me. So, um, yeah. All right. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Remember that you are loved, you are beautiful, you are special and unique, and no one can tell you any different. All right. 